My name is Jan, and I'd like to talk to you about stripping, kale stripping. You know when you buy kale in the store, uh, oftentimes it's bunched. And when we're talking about stripping a kale plant, basically we talk about picking the lower leaves, like this, going up the plant, stripping the leaves off the plant, putting a rubber band around it, and this is for you, the consumer. That's a nice way of buying kale. It's relatively cheap. It's a great way to ship it. Uh, there's a lot of value there. What you do when you make the salad, you see that this leaf has this big central vein in it. We all know that this eats like wood, not pleasant. So when you make your own salad, you strip this vein out of there. And then this is the material that you use to make the salad. This is nice and tender. Rub it with a little bit of oil, a little bit of dressing. You can chop it up a little fine, or you can eat it like this if you like. But what do we see in the store when we get pre-chopped kale, we get these leaves that go through a chopper, we get chopped up kale, and each little piece of kale that is in that bag, or like most of the pieces of kale that are in that bag, have this big central vein in it. So you get something like this on your salad plate. Mmm, yummy. This is the good part. This is the tough part. That, have to, that you have to spit this out. It's kind of like eating watermelon. You have to spit out the tough pieces of kale as you're working through your salad. What's the deal with that? Why don't we take another look at kale stripping and strip this central vein out of the plant as we pick it. Maybe what we can do is you just leave this stem on the kale plant, strip the vein out, and harvest only the leaf and not the vein. Just like that. Ready to eat. Nice, because it's, it's a nice fluffy material. You can stuff this in a bag. We can charge you $2.95 for a bunch of whole kale leaves, or we can charge you $4.95 for a bag ready to eat without the stems. What an idea. Let's get stripping.